Nah, this is... This is insane. This is what it's about. Uh-huh. For the longest time, I put off doing any hiking because yeah. of the arthritis. Yeah. This is absolutely like. This is, this is. Yeah, this is awesome. So I grew up in Northern Virginia. I uh, spent a lot of time in the country, uh, just kind of playing all summer outdoors, hiking the Appalachian Trail on the weekends. Coming to LA, there's a ton of opportunity and a ton of people. You have buildings everywhere, glass, skyscrapers. I mean, you've got access to the beaches and the mountains all within a couple hours, uh, but it's just busy. It's a very busy city. But ultimately going to Nepal, feels like a good way to slow down, a good way to kind of get access to more of a natural rhythm, kind of get back in touch with, with my roots, being in the country, kind of being out in the wild. So about 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with a type of arthritis called ankylosing spondylitis, uh, which basically just, uh, you start to get swelling in some of your joints, classic arthritis, but you also start to get fusion in your spine. So I found myself kind of in a, a position where I could kind of see my, my youth and my health slipping away from me. I started really focusing on making sure that I was moving more, making sure I was much more active, uh, watching what I ate. Uh, and eventually I found Pilates, which was a really, really great way to kind of keep everything under control. So kind of managing all of my intake, working very closely with my doctors. Uh, I've gotten to a point now where I have what is a lifelong chronic disease pretty under control, and going to Nepal is a, an opportunity for me to kind of really uh, not only test my limits uh, mentally, but also to kind of celebrate the progress that I've made. So we're actually, we're doing a seven day hike. I was looking at our itinerary, it's, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be intense. It's gonna be really, really cool. However, we will not have access to electrical outlets during that time. I hear the battery life is great on the Phoenix. Uh, I'm gonna be put into the test though while we're out there. I'm actually looking forward to getting outside, getting out to kind of a pristine wilderness experience is not something that I get very often here in LA. You can always kind of hear the freeway in the background when you're going up the hills here. But uh, yeah, out there just to be totally, just out there on your own, it's gonna be a wild time. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, man, uh, we're pretty high now. I think it's about time I understood altitude acclimation. Yeah. Okay, so here's my numbers. Tell me. Oh, you're at 33%. Yeah. You're beating me. Oh, okay. I'm only at 31. These are the dates, so you can see the altitude in the background, that gray line. Yeah. That's the altitude we've climbed over the course of time. And yeah. then those green dots are your, that's your acclimation to that altitude as time's gone on. Yeah. So obviously we made a massive climb today yeah. and yesterday. Yeah. So that's why you see the green one kind of going up a little bit. So I kind of need the, this line to catch, I need the acclimation to catch up with where I actually am now. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, but, but we got to climb that. Uh, so how am I going to get the line up so I'm kind of able to do that? We're going to have to rest Okay. at this altitude. Okay, I think we yeah. can do that. And then that way I can catch up. Okay. <laughs> 